Hello guys, hope you are welcome back. Today, I've literally just been playing this game and I've uh, decided to turn it into a build order. So I decided to have a go on the unranked queue just to test out the Tato Rush or the Tatty Rush, which is a Saracen Archer Rush where you're pretty much all in and you go through your ranges. And I was just playing around with it, just messing around. And it worked like a treat. <laughs> it was amazing. So I figured I'd quickly do a recording of it as a build order and uh, so you can also see me actually using one of the build orders in a ranked game as well um, so yeah I don't do it as it probably should be because of just how the game went um, so it's not perfect by any means and uh, there's a few bits further on that don't happen but um, yeah generally I do follow Probably up, on, up until sort of feudal age, it's pretty much uh, you know, by how it should be. But uh, yeah, you just start off six on uh, sheep, send three to wood, and then the next one goes to get the boar. Pretty much after that, it's just a case of everything goes to uh, food. You have to take a few off of food, sort of half, well, towards the end, and send them over to gold, but uh, that's generally the gist of it. And most of the stuff happens uh, later on uh, when you sort of transition into feudal age. So, yeah, we'll just have a little look at the map really. So, my map's pretty open. Um, so, it's a good job I'm doing a strategy where you don't really need to wall because this is going to be quite a tough map to wall. I mean, I suppose I could have just gone along here, but I don't really want to be going into your berries uh, with your walls. Um, my opponent's playing as the Marlins, who has got an even worse map than I have in terms of wallable uh, or wallability. So yeah, this is ridiculously open. But you just go and try and uh, just try to wall it up. But yeah, at this point, yeah, just put pretty much just putting everything on uh, on food. Up until we get to about villager seventeen, we're on thirteen at the minute. Um, so then I think villager 18, yeah villager 18 will come out and go to gold and that's when you send two other, um, or is it villager 17, I can't remember, might be 17, but you send three over to gold anyway. So we're just getting second uh, boar in now, but yeah there's not really much more to say about the actual build order at this point, it's literally just six on sheep, three on wood. One to bore, everything else on uh, food, so bore and sheep until uh, almost this type sort of point. We'll just see if it's the next villager. I think it is the next villager that comes out. We'll be going over to gold. So we're two seconds idle time. My opponent's not had any. Yeah, there we go. Going over to gold, and then we're sending two more over to gold as well. And then we just need two more, they're going to go on to food. Then we're going to get loom and then we're going to click up to the castle age. So I've had a few seconds, quite a few seconds now, I don't know what's, uh, what's happening here. I think uh, that's why I kind of messed up a little bit. Ouch, I don't know why there's so much time there. I wish I'd not put capture age on there. <laughs> um, so yeah, just two uh, more villages, one more villager to come out. I decided to send them to gold, um, so they should have been gone on to food. I sent one to gold, uh, and then I decided to send the other one back on to food. But they both should have gone on food and then over to gold once we've clicked up to feudal age. Uh, which has happened, or just about to happen. I noticed I've got enough food in the bank, so I decided to start sending those villages forward. Because uh, we need to send two forward, and we're going to make a forward barracks. We're going to uh, ordinarily we would take two off of gold and send them over here, but I'd already had one there, so I've just sent one. And then the remaining nine villages are all going to go over to wood. So we're going to make a second lumber camp, and those ones are going to just go up to that top lumber camp there. Uh, so you'll see we've got nothing on food, and that is intentional. And we're pretty much just only having enough food, uh, food banked to make sure we can research fletching. And um, we'll probably be able to get one more uh, villager out of it. I think the, the guide where I saw this from, it said to um, just stop once you've got enough food for uh, fletching. But 
decided to finish the sheep off. But as you can see, forward barracks has come down. My opponent is on his way up as well. He went 21 pop. Not quite as much uh, idle time as me, but he's got a hell of a lot of uh, idle economy. Over five and, five and a half minutes. Which is just about a villager standing around who was building, but not really doing anything. As you can see, he's going forward with a men at arms rush. And uh, my base is totally unprotected. <laughs> But that is the nature of the tatty rush. But as you can see, we're in free lage now, so we're going to get the first range down, um, and then we're going to get the second range. So essentially, we're just getting two ranges down, and the blacksmith will research Fletch in, get another blacksmith um, range, and then eventually we would or should move five from wood over into uh, to gold once we've got that third range up. But that quite doesn't quite happen because of this man at arms rush. That's what you should be doing. I did get the third range down, but never, uh, never managed to send any extra villagers over there uh, just because of that. But I do manage to mass up quite a, a good ball of archers. But as you can see, we've got quite a bit banked up before we've even started making archers. So, you know, we've nearly got enough for, for 10. There we go. Blacksmith coming down now. Do have to remember to keep making houses but yeah as you can see this uh, rush is coming in kind of uh, I was trying to um, quick wall and then try getting the house down there and it just managed to get in there before I could uh, stop building it which was frustrating so yeah I had to just take all of those off of there uh, decide well this is me trying to move them out of the way just so I can uh, start getting some walls down but, but they just sent them all off a bit weird but yeah, managed to get all that board up and protected. Uh, those villages just going over back up to that backward line. And as you can see, we've got archers on the way. See, my idle ego is coming up, but it's just purely because of those two. Just standing around doing nothing. I did make another villager. He's just, well, she's just gone on to the straggler trees. But I decided to sort of wall up towards the town centre, and then I realised that it was pretty stupid because all this is open. I just walk around here and get me instead. Yeah, thankfully he's not paying any attention to what he's doing, unless that is intentional. I'm not really sure, but I decided to get a, a tower down, just to try and get myself protected. So I don't want to be pushed off uh, that wood line now. As you can see, we're getting third ranges up, keep making houses, and uh, yeah, but quite a lot of e e uh, idle TC time, which is understandable. See, I didn't know all this was open still, because I could have just come waltzing in here with my archers. So yeah, that was a bit of a shame. Do you manage to get that bit walled up? So you just kind of figure out what I'm doing. So I managed to uh, just put some houses down here just to stop him from coming in. But Fletching's in. Uh, Stop making archers. I think that's just purely because I was focusing up here and trying not to lose all those uh, all those villages there. Yeah, arch production is back underway now. I think that was housed. But yeah, it's just a case of taking down those walls. Ah, thankfully he wasn't paying attention and he was on stand ground. So lucky that he was on stand ground there. <laughs> so. Despite this being a, a unranked game, uh, after the game I checked what this guy's elo was, and he's a lot higher than I am. I say a lot higher. Uh, my highest ever has been 1368. Um, currently about 1300. I think 1306 or something. Uh, this guy is 1377. So yeah, arguably a better player than me. And as you can see, the, the tatty rush three ranges here it's just it just seems to be so op it's great definitely one i'm going to use again in the future because it's just nuts look at it there's so many village uh, so many archers i mean it's pretty crazy it's can't do anything up there but it's going to keep coming out now and trying to get that wall uh tower finished i mean look at it it's 96 <laughs> percent so he needs that tower up but there's just such a big ball of archers there I'm like, no, you're not getting that tower up. Sorry. 
And then I decide to start shooting it down and the guy resigns. So that is it guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Do uh, practice this build yourself and let me know how you get on. It's quite a fun one to do. And as you can see, it's quite uh, quite a successful one. You're very vulnerable in your base. Let's not lie, but I think it's a good idea to place a uh, uh, defensive tower there where you need it. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did and you want to see other build orders, then do consider subscribing to the channel. We'll see you on the next one.